Hey everybody, out of Atlas Gunworks. We're going to talk about um, recoil springs for a minute. Um, a lot of people just put them in, and, and they do require a little bit of tuning um, for the to them to work properly. So, um, in a recoil spring setup, the incorrect thing is if you have um, your reverse plug and your uh, guide rod and your spring and you don't have full travel so I'll see if I can do this so when this goes to full fully travel here see if I can do it sideways for the video it stops right there on the spring that is not correct so that gun's going to short stroke I mean, if the, just imagine this was th super long right su this long then the gun wouldn't even cycle because it would have it would bind up on the on the spring. So the spring has to be able to collapse all the way. So the, we want to be able to make sure that the guide rod I should be able to do this like this goes all the way, or the recoil plug goes all the way. So that's getting the full travel of the of the gun. So this is with a officer system that we're working on right now, and here's with a. You know, same thing with the government. And some of the springs are pretty good, but some of them aren't. So this one right there doesn't doesn't go. So this spring needs to be trimmed. So <clears throat> super easy. Um, trim from the top, not the bottom. And then both after you trim them, make sure that you look at the very tip. And usually it's sharp. And if there's a burr on the inside or anything, and the same thing's true with the factory cut side. Sometimes there's a burr right there. Just take a file or something and just work that burr in. Because what happens is that'll you'll see it sometimes your guide rod will have scratches all over it. Well, that's from just that little bit of movement here and this spring is going by, especially this one. Imagine that's traveling back and forth there. So the more that burrs that up, the more resistance you have on the next spring or that spring, and the you know the less perfect your gun is. So trim those. That's all you really got to do. I like to pre-trim an extra one or two in the bag so I don't have to do it at the range if I have to change them at the range. Um, and for folks. Um, well, we're talking about springs. If you run a, um, let's say your gun was built to run on a 10 or a 12 pound spring, whatever the number is, if you're going to run coated bullets, you've got to spring up one pound. So our guns are usually 10 pound variable wolf springs, and we're just starting now to ship them with 10 and 11, and 11 in a bag for everybody who wants to run those coated bullets, because the coated bullets need just a little more spring. They're a little less forgiving. So, um, have both of them in the thing ready to go trim them up make sure they both work and then you know if you needed to change in a match or something you could do that hopefully that was helpful